Updated, over the last 24 hours, the entertainment world has been stunned, by the horrific incident that took place on the set of the western drama Rust, while it was shooting scenes in New Mexico. What is known is that Alec Baldwin, ex The Doctors, Knots Landing, discharged a prop gun that killed director of photography, Heine Hutchins and injured director, Joel Souza. The film also stars Francis Fisher, ex Edge of Night, and Jensen Ackles, ex Days of Our Lives. Baldwin is also a producer on the film. Photo, Giddy According to Variety, the prop gun contained a live single round, According to an email sent by Yahtzee Local 44 to its membership, on Friday, Alec Baldwin made a statement via Twitter on his Hilaria and Alec Baldwin Foundation Twitter feed, expressing, There are no words to convey my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident that took the life of Heine Hutchins, a wife, mother and deeply admired colleague of ours. I'm fully cooperating with the police investigation to address how this tragedy occurred and am in touch with her husband, offering my support to him and his family. My heart is broken for her husband, their son, and all who knew and loved Heine. Yesterday, the Santa Fe Sheriff's Departments originally shared that Hutchins, 42, and Sousa, 48 were shot when a prop firearm was discharged by Alec Baldwin. M's, Hutchins was transported, via helicopter, to University of New Mexico Hospital where she was pronounced dead by medical personnel. Mr. Sousa was transported by ambulance to Christus St. Vincent Regional Medical Center where he was undergoing treatment for his injuries. This investigation remains open and active. No charges have been filed in regard to this incident. Witnesses continue to be interviewed by detectives. This morning, Francis Fisher revealed in a Twitter conversation with Patricia Arquette, that director Joe Souza had been released from the hospital. Meanwhile, photographs of a distraught Baldwin emerged following the shooting. Photo, New Mexican The news of the Baldwin prop gun incident, isn't the first time something like this has happened. John Eric Hexham was killed on October 18, 1984, on the set of the TV show Cover Up when he accidentally shot himself in the head with a gun loaded with blanks. Then, in 1993, Brandon Lee, the son of martial arts legend Bruce Lee, died from a prop gun accident on the set of The Crow by a cast member. As the news made its way through the entertainment community and mainstream news, several soap stars shared their reactions to the fatal shooting accident. General Hospital's John Lindstrom, Kevin Slash Ryan, expressed, feeling so sad for everyone involved in the tragedy on the hashtag Rust movie set. I do know the film was staffed with experienced, thoughtful professionals. Please, let's wait until we have the facts. Nothing positive will come from passing judgment or casting aspersions before then. General Hospital and Dynasty's Emma Sams, Holly, Fallon, shared on her friend John Eric Hexham's death, This awful tragedy on hashtag Rust is unfathomable to me. If all on-set protocols were being adhered to, how, on earth, could it have happened? After what happened to Brandon Lee and my dear friend John Eric Hexham, the firearm protocols became incredibly strict. I was told, when I was with him at the hospital afterwards, that John Eric had been working with a completely empty gun all morning. A blank, still very dangerous, was loaded and then immediately there was a delay. Exhausted, he was allowed to fall asleep, loaded gun in hand. He woke him, but there was immediately another delay. John Eric put the gun to his head, forgetting it now contained a blank, because he had just woken up and jokingly pulled the trigger. He was not the kind of person to play around with a loaded gun. Hashtag 4th record we will continue to post reactions and update this story. What are your thoughts on the fatal shooting on the set of Rust? Comment below. How can this not happen again, so everyone is safe in this working environment when dangerous props are called for or used to make a movie or a TV show? Ad block test.